I would like to start with a commandment given to us by our Creator. Our Creator who loves us so much that He gave us a set of scriptures and He gave us a set of guidelines. And one of the guidelines in it is you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Now, bearing false witness against your neighbor is something very destructive. It means you're lying about somebody. It means you're trying to destroy their lives. And the people of the Hallelujah Scriptures have done this for 13 years. They have bore false witness. Not only thieving from people, but the worst of all is bearing false witness and attempting to ruin people's reputations. People that are following our Creator. People that are doing the work of our Creator. People that had never ever crossed the paths of Shalom and Deborah, Shalom or Deborah Wessel or whatever her name is. People that have never ever heard of her, they crossed her path and when they crossed her path, she destroyed them. She did very evil things. The Hallelujah of Scriptures is built on an evil premises. People have stolen the scriptures from the 2008 Institute for Scripture Research and they have stolen that and then they took the people's lives and they bore false witness. Now, what's happening to them is exactly what happened that they did to everybody else back in the days. This is a little bit of a piece of the latest newsletter that they sent out. And you can definitely tell they are in the middle of a war. The people are turning on them. But let's read something firsthand on what they said. Scripture warns his people not to put your hand with the wicked. And if you do not see things firsthand, do not stand with the wicked to spread a lie, as it is not righteousness. Words can harm and hurt people, and in most cases is hearsay, and many have ended their lives over lies and gossip. It is time to look at ourselves and to get our life cleaned up. As one brother shared on his YouTube, how would you like this done to you? Now, this is the Hallelujah Scriptures saying, how would you like this done to you? When back in 2013, they went and destroyed everybody's life with this. Let's take a quick look here. This is the Messianic Hall of Shame. Now, I've gone over this before, but there is a very very big piece at the very end of this. This is what they did. And they went and they put a gentleman who is a create who is doing the work of our creator. Wherever they found this picture, I don't know. But let's read this once again. The, this hall of shame is reserved for those believers who claim to follow the Torah of Yahuwah and Yahushua, the Messiah, yet actually break the Torah and continue to do so despite repeated warnings. Then they say, as of December, as of first December, twenty fifteen, still no repentance. And then they went and bore false witness against Lou White, against Bill Meyer from the for the Institute of Scripture Research. They went against Wilhelm Wolfard. I don't know who James Trim is, but this is a man's life that they destroyed. This is what you call bearing false witness. They did this to promote their scriptures, their stolen scriptures, and do this on the backs of people. They destroyed these people's lives, and they slandered them. And they did very evil things against the Institute for Scripture Research. People that have donated a tremendous amount of their life and their time to bringing scriptures to us. This is what you call bearing false witness. And what is happening to Hallelujah Scriptures is exactly what they have done to everybody else. My friends, I would like to bring you to the Messianic Hall of Shame of 2023. This site, this Hall of Shame is reserved for the Hallelujah Scriptures who claim to follow the Torah of Yahuwah and Yahushua, the Messiah, yet actually break the Torah and continue to do so despite repeated warnings. As of January 3rd, 2023, still no repentance. And these are the videos that have been taken offline, that they have been able to hide and been able to manipulate and be able to hide behind their criminal enterprise that they are running. 
They are running amok. They are stealing pe people's money. They're taking their donations. They're doing hustles that are just very, very evil. And their time has come. Now, who are these people? The List. Shalom Weiss. Better known as Deborah Wessel. Better known as Deborah White. Better known as Shalom White. Then her husband, Max Weiss. Max White. <laughs> uh, Ken Allen. Ken Wessel. These are the people who have haunted and hunted people for years and years and years. They are the people of evil. And now they are going to be exposed. They are going to sit up here on the Hallelujah, on the Messianic Hall of Shame dot org forever. This is who this is about. These people have destroyed people's lives. They are stealing, continually stealing, and they have not stopped stealing. Now, I have another video to do where they took the word of Yah. They are literally trying to hide the word of Yah from the world to protect their money. When you look at the fruits of these people, please understand this is not what people of our creator would do. They're not going to set up a hustle. They're not going to take his word and they're not going to ruin people's lives. So this messianic hall of shame that Deborah Wessel and Ken Wessel or whoever they are did, they are now the stars of it. They will now be the people of this and I will continue and I will promote this site across the internet forever. I will use their own names against them. We will put this up there and I will make sure that the rest of the world is able to see this. People, we cannot do this on the backs of our creator's name. We cannot hold the word of our creator away from people. We are to give this out. There is no reason we should ever be hiding the word of our creator. They got busted in a scam. They are continually getting busted in a scam. These people are deceptive. The United and Yah is the same. They're the exact same company. They all need to be exposed. They all, everybody on the corporate paperwork for Hallelujah Scriptures need to be investigated by the Federal Bureau of Investigation for money laundering, embezzlement, fraudulent actions, racketeering, theft, among other things, deceptive practices. There's a ton of them. There will be 15 to 20 years for Shalom Weiss and Ken Weiss or whoever their names are, whatever their names are. And if they do not get judged in this world, then our creator will judge them for doing what they're doing. And if you're sitting here thinking that they're giving away all these free Bibles, they are not. The people that are getting Bibles are people that have bought the Bibles, congregations. Look at all of the pictures in all of the newsletter they just barely sent out. It's the same pictures over and over and over and over. They're reproducing these pictures and bringing them back. They're not as big as they say they are. And what they are doing is they are making millions of dollars off of people's backs who believe that they are giving away free Bibles. This grift needs to stop. Our creator's name has to go out. His word has to go out and we must stop this great evil. So with that, I would like to welcome you guys to the messianic hall of shame.org.